Hello and welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. This is another quick study in my quick study series. And in this video, we're going to be looking at background trees that are pine trees. And so I'm using Infinite Painter for Android. And I'm starting with just a blue background to sort of give a generic sky and then I want to go ahead and make the shapes of little pine trees and you can do this using uh, you want to use probably a light purple color and if you're following along with traditional materials you can use dioxazine purple with a white acrylic gesso and you want to probably use a number six round and here I just wanted to change the background so that this would show up better for the tutorial purposes. And you want to go ahead and just kind of start with a uh, stick in the middle of the tree and then make little Z shapes as you come down. And as you can see I'm making sort of little jagged Z shapes. You don't want them to look uh, uniform or anything. You want just kind of a, a jagged Z shape and here I'm using my second layer of trees and I've darkened those and maybe added a little more purple to them or green and for the third row of trees I've added um, some darker green and you can use um, forest green or pine green or even hooker's green you just want to make these a little bit more um, have some greenish color as they come forward to you because objects um, when they come forward to you uh, look darker and they're also uh, more intense in color so here I'm adding a little bit of a meadow there just at the bottom with some grass to just sort of give it a, a depth look and then you want to go ahead and add some old dead pine trees that have lost all their leaves and these are called scrags and they'll just be sticking up without any leaves or anything and you can use your script brush or you can <clears throat> use a, the, the filbert brush and infinite painter and just uh, make it very small <clears throat> and then that gives it kind of a look of distant pine trees and again these will be in your background so they're not going to be very detailed. You just kind of want to get an indication of the distant pines, maybe at the foot of a mountain or something. Anyway, you want them to look indistinct and sort of jagged with just indications of old dead uh, pine tree stumps sticking up. So, this is the end of our quick study for a background forest. And if you want to see more quick studies, hit the subscribe button. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you so much for your support. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. And I will catch you later.